Okay, so the first thing you want to do is get to your University Bridge uh, D2L page, um, and you're going to look at content so that you can access the syllabus. So we're going to open the syllabus, and from there we're going to scroll down until we see the lecture discussion series. And so this here talks about um, the assignment. Uh, this describes the type of notes that you might be taking in class, either lecture-based or sort of concept-based when you do TED Talks. And then below that is where you see lecture discussion series. And also here you have the two links, either MIT or Yale. So first, uh, let's go to MIT and check out that site. So here we arrive at the home page for the audio and video lectures. Um, as you go through these, you'll notice that some of them are not quite all video lectures, and some of them are not quite all lectures. Um, they may be shorter video clips. So we want you to do full video and lectures. So let me show you an example of what not to do first. So I'm going to click on uh, Global Studies and Languages. That seems interesting um, for our situation. And as I get there, you'll notice Global Studies and Languages is at the top. I'm going to click on this first course here. Gives me a little description and then View Course. And this is more information. This is basically like your D2L page in some ways, um, but it might be for an online course. You have a syllabus and calendar and readings and all of this stuff. So a little bit below here, we have Video Lectures. So you want to click there. And immediately I can see that this is probably not going to be what we want because it looks like a bunch of different people most likely giving short talks about something interesting. So let's just take a look and see what I'm talking about. So if we play this video, we notice that there is the time here. So this is only 17 minutes and while that sounds like quite a long time to listen to something it's not what we want we want you to experience um, what it's like to sit in a classroom uh, for an hour an hour and a half uh, listening to somebody talk to you so this is not going to be enough um, so unfortunately we have to navigate back to uh, the big course list and find a different course so I'm going to use uh, my browser back button as an easy way just to get back there quickly Okay, so let's look at a different course that might sound interesting. So ling linguistics and philosophy, uh, interesting to me, may not be interesting to you, but for presentational purposes, we are going to look at this course here. Um, again, you have a description and then view course. So we click on that link. Um, again, there's usually some information here for students actually enrolled in this course where you have the syllabus and the readings and, and things like that. Again, a link to selected video lectures. So let's click there. And right away I can see that this is probably more like what we want to do. So I see a teacher and I also see a classroom. And that kind of gives me a good idea that this is probably going to be a video of this guy talking about his class in a lecture style type uh, environment. Um, so let's take a look at session one. And I'm going to press play to check the time. And as I can see here, this is about an hour long. So this is a great one. Um, you don't have to do this entire video. If you were to watch this, you'd notice that he says he's going to introduce the syllabus um, and sort of some assignments of the course or something. So that might take 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes or so. The rest of the lecture, however, is going to be some sort of information about the foundation of the course or the basis of the course and it's usually a great place to start to find out you know where this course is going and why it was offered and, and how it fits into the field of philosophy and film and, and that sort of thing so you'd most likely be watching total about 40 to 45 minutes of this um, if you don't want to listen to a description of the syllabus um, but it's still an experience for you to see what it's like in a real classroom so watching the whole thing would be fine of course you don't have to take notes about the syllabus information just about the information dealing with this course in particular um, the information that he wants to provide you about film and philosophy and film 
um, and that sort of information. So this one would be a great one to watch if you're interested in that. What I'm going to do now is go back and take a look at the Yale site, and it's organized a little bit differently. So I'm going to go back to my uh, syllabus, and I'm going to scroll down uh, to the lecture discussion series, and I'm going to click on the Yale link. So the Yale link brings me to um, this space here. I'm going to see if I can make this a little smaller so you can see it. Um, so this is Open Yale courses. There's a little explanation here and some, some info. Again, this one is organized a little bit differently. So let's look at courses. Um, and here we have a list of all these different types of courses. Now this is not necessarily um, so much of a science university as it is a liberal arts uh, university. So there's a lot of other things. There's science here, but there's other things here too. So American studies, chemistry, classics, um, economics, English, um, the theory of literature. So, hey, let's look at that. Now, let's see if we have any um, video uh, lectures here. Course structure, um, download materials. This one does not look like, but maybe if we do sessions, um, this might be some videos. So again, you can see it's organized differently. Um, so we have about, and then we have a list here. I looked over here for a link for videos, but it wasn't there. So sessions is another way of saying lectures. Um, and let's see, uh, let's jump into something like lecture three and see what that looks like. Um, again, this is, I look at the time down here, this is 46 minutes. Here is a teacher in front of a chalkboard. This looks like something we would want you to watch. So let's take a play and see if this is something okay. So he's jumping right into the middle of the lecture here. Um, and you can see that this is something that we want you to watch. We want you to see something similar like this. This is a teacher in a classroom lecturing to students. This is going to give you a good idea of what it's like to sit there and have to take notes on something like this. Um, having these, um, the subtitles on or off, um, I would say if you have to listen to this, for example, if you have to listen to this twice, one of those times should be without this. And I always suggest don't use the subtitles the first time. Listen to it one time, or at least listen to part of it one time without any subtitles. And if you're really confused and you want some text help, you can go back and listen a second time with the uh, subtitles on. But at least one of those times, or half of the time, should not be uh, with subtitles. And that'll give you a real, um, you know, authentic experience um, with these lecture discussions. So if we go back to, and I'm going to click, uh, use my browser to go back to the, um, to the syllabus. Okay, we're about back at my syllabus now, um, and I'm just going to explain a little bit about what what to do as you as you listen. So you must come prepared with notes to get credit for this homework assignment. I think I mentioned that in class, but the idea is that. I have no way of really checking that you do this. So the only evidence that you can show me is a page, two, three pages of notes that talk about what you just uh, watched. So you have to bring these to class and after you watch and take notes and you bring those notes to class, you're going to sit down in a small group of uh, probably three students and you're going to tell them about the lecture that you watched. When you do take notes on this, um, try to include, there's some tips down here, um, try to include vocabulary that you heard from the lecture. This is really important if you are watching a lecture from an area that you are going to study. You will need the vocabulary of that particular industry and the best way to start learning that vocabulary early is to watch these videos and then pay attention to the vocabulary. Um, in your discussion, you might want to try to use that vocabulary as you talk about that lecture to the partners um, or your group members. Um, you should be able to summarize the main points, but please, please, please do not talk about every single detail 
that was in the lecture. You want to keep this in sort of summary form. Um, no one will be able to follow you if you talk about every single detail that this person talked about. Um, you just want to basically um, tell your tell your group members, hey, I watched this video or this lecture. It was really interesting. Um, and I'm going to give you a quick summary of this. I'm not going to tell you every detail, but I'm going to tell you enough to make you interested. Um, and that's what you want to do. Uh, so I may ask some of you to sort of tell us what you did, but I definitely walk around to each of the groups and ask you questions about your lecture and listen in to your discussion. So this discussion, uh, which will be next Thursday, um, will take the majority of the class. Um, I think it takes at least 10, 15 minutes for each student to discuss uh, their their lecture and get in, you know, really talk about their, their lecture with each other. So um, if your group members are confused, it's a proper conversation. You ask questions for clarification. You do all of those things. Uh, do not sit there nodding your head yes when you don't understand what that person is talking about. Ask them questions. Hey, I didn't understand what you said there. What does that mean? Can you explain that more? Um, those are all great questions to ask as you're having a, a discussion with this. Okay, so that is your assignment for Thursday. Hopefully now you understand a little bit better about what to do, why you're doing it, and how to do it. Um, and hopefully this video was instructional. I will see you Monday. Have a nice weekend.